A cake in the oven is of course what everyone expects, but today we are gonna be making it in the slow cooker. Pull out those slow cookers and get ready for some delicious dessert. This peanut butter cake could not get any easier. Sift some dry ingredients, whisk together the wet ingredients, fold it all together, and then to top it all off, I am adding in some of my favorite Valentine's candy. This cake is best served warm straight from the slow cooker with a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. You can't go wrong. That's all coming up today on The Wise Guide. It's Valentine's Day, and honestly, I could really care less. I've never really celebrated the day, but I know it's important to some people, and whether it is or isn't to you, you will definitely want to make this cake. We are gonna let the slow cooker do all the work, well, other than mixing it up, and you can walk away for a few hours and just smell the cake. Because if you're like me, you're gonna be eating it all by yourself. I'm joking, I'm not that. I'm, well, I probably will eat it all. To start things off, I just like to scoop my flour right into a bowl fitted with a sieve or some type of sifter. Add your sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Just tap that right into the bowl until it's all combined. Set it aside until you're ready to use. In a larger bowl, I just like to first whisk my wet ingredients. Add a little bit of oil, some melted butter, eggs, and vanilla. Whisk that up till it's combined. Just kind of break up those yolks because you know, so often they don't break up easy otherwise. Then add your delicious peanut butter. Seriously, isn't peanut butter just always good? And it really makes this in almost into like this big cookie cakey thing. It's just, hello. Mm, this is my lover, this fountain. I should, that is weird. <laughs> oh, but it's true. Anyway, whisk in the peanut butter till it's completely smooth. At first, after you add that peanut butter, it's gonna look a little broken. Just keep whisking, then all at once it will get smooth. Dump back in that prepared dry ingredients and then just fold it up with a spatula. Just keep folding. It's gonna be kind of like a stiff dough, no problem. For the candy, you really could add any candy that kind of floats your boat, but let me tell you something, my favorites are right here. Just unwrap them, throw them in, fold them up. It kind of doesn't combine the best, but don't worry. It will bake up deliciously. Once it's folded, you can just prepare your slow cooker. Just a four or six quart slow cooker is gonna work perfect. Pull out the insert, spray it, just in case any of the batter gets behind the parchment paper we're gonna add in. Next, add in your parchment paper, and as you see, obviously it doesn't fit perfectly, so just work it up the sides and kind of crease it over so it stays. Spray the parchment paper. This is just gonna help the cake come out easier. And then just put right in all that batter. Seriously, could this get easier? No, I don't think so. Well, no, I don't. Press it out slightly, just so it's kind of an even layer. Then put it back into your slow cooker. Add the lid, set the time, walk away. You could be cleaning at home, smelling delicious cake. You could run a couple errands, come back to a delicious cake. Or if you wanna serve this for Valentine's, put it in a few hours before dinner and have it going the whole time and you and your significant other or whatever party you're having are gonna be extremely excited. Once it's about done, I reserve just a few pieces of candy. I like to put them right on top into the cake so they kind of melt in, but also you know exactly what's in there. It kind of just makes it look nice too. Scoop it out and put a big scoop of ice cream beside it because cake and ice cream just makes sense. And you really need something cool to kind of go with the warm, delicious, moist, peanut buttery and chocolate candy cake. I'm gonna be happy this Valentine's with this cake. If you're excited for this cake on Valentine's, make sure to like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. I'll see you next time. <laughs>